click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in today's video we are going to see how BJT provides a various behavior in common collector configuration. In this video we are going to cover input and output characteristics of common collector configuration. So let's begin with the video. We know that the current gain that means alpha and beta provides some information about behavior of transistor but the information provided by alpha and beta is not enough to understand its behavior in detail. Therefore, we need to consider the various curves which can provide a relationship between input and output current and voltage. These curves are called as characteristics of bipolar junction transistor. There are two types of characteristics, input and output characteristics. Input characteristics provides relationship between input current and input voltage whereas output characteristics provide relationship between output current and output voltage. Now let's see input and output characteristics in common collector configuration. As its name indicates common collector configuration. We know that transistor is a three terminal device, base, emitter and collector. And for connecting it into the circuit we required four terminals. Therefore we need to consider one terminal as a common terminal. In case of common collector configuration, collector terminal is considered as a common terminal and therefore input is applied between base and collector whereas output is taken across emitter and collector. In case of common collector configuration, base current is considered as input current and emitter current is considered as output current. Now let's see the input characteristics of common collector configuration. Input characteristics in common collector is nothing but a relationship between base collector voltage and input current that is base current. So here we are considering base collector voltage on x axis and base current on y axis. For constant value of output voltage that means collector emitter voltage. Now this characteristic is obtained by keeping the value of collector emitter voltage constant for a certain time and then we increase the value of base collector voltage in suitable step. So as we increase the value of base collector voltage, the base current starts increasing. After taking the reading, we need to plot the graph by considering VBC on X axis and IB on Y axis. Again, we need to set VCB equals to 2 volt and required to repeat the procedure. So from the characteristics we know that there exists a threshold at point A. That voltage is called as threshold voltage, knee voltage, cut-in voltage or offset voltage. So in the region OA, the value of base current is negligibly small even if there is an increase in value of base collector voltage. After point A, the as base collector voltage increases, the value of base current also starts increase. But this increase is not rapid because in case of common collector configuration, this causes less rapid increase in the value of base current. The input characteristic is basically used to provide the AC input resistance of the BJT in common collector configuration and it is defined as the ratio of change in base collector voltage that means delta VBC to the change in base current that is delta IB. As the value of input resistance is very high that is approximately equals to 500 kilo ohms. So this is what about the input characteristics of common collector configuration. Now let's move towards the output characteristics of common collector configuration. The output characteristics shows a relationship between output current and output voltage for given input current. In common collector configuration, emitter collector voltage is output voltage and emitter current is output current and base current is input current. Therefore, we are plotting the graph by considering emitter collector voltage on x-axis and emitter current on y-axis. This characteristic is obtained by setting some value of base collector voltage in such a way that it can provide certain value of base current. For example, if we set base current to 20 microampere and then if we increase the collector emitter voltage, the emitter current shows variation in suitable steps. Now the output characteristics of common collector configuration is somehow similar to the output characteristics of common emitter configuration. In this also the characteristics is get divided into three regions that means saturation, active and cutoff region. The active region is present in between saturation and cutoff region. 
Now, from the characteristics, we come to know that if we increase the value of collector emitter voltage, then the value of emitter current reaches to the saturation level. That means if we increase the collector emitter voltage more than 1 volt, then the emitter current reaches to the saturation level based on the value of the base current. Now, this characteristic is also used for providing value of output resistance that means RO and it is defined as the ratio of change in emitter collector voltage that is delta VCE to the change in emitter current that is delta I. But this value is small as compared to common emitter and common base configuration and it is approximately equals to 50 ohms. So this is what about the output characteristics of common collector configuration. The common collector configuration is not that much practically used as compared to common emitter and common base configuration because it shows a same behavior as compared to common emitter configuration and it is mostly used as an emitter follower if we use feedback with it. So this is what about the common collector configuration input and output characteristics. I hope you understand the topic. So thank you very much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikira. Subscribe Ikira. Thank you.